rugged mountains, ruined castles and the most stunning scenery I have ever seen. We took to van life and travelled six hours north to complete one of Europe's most epic road trips. In this series, we discover... Day one had us drive 300 miles from the Yorkshire Dales to Ben Nevis, the highest mountain in the UK. We set off at about 2am and drove straight up to Loch Lomond. We stopped to have breakfast, get the kids dressed, we let them stretch their legs on the edge of the loch. We then started to travel further north towards Fort William making a short stop at the Falls of Fullock to let the drivers have a nap. This is a beautiful little waterfall. The car park is free and the falls are only a two minute walk from the car park itself. The car park is only small so if you're driving a large vehicle, just take that into consideration. It was pretty tricky getting the van out when we wanted to leave two hours later. After leaving the waterfall, we continued the drive towards Ben Nevis. Driving through Glencoe was our first real glimpse into the beauty of Scotland. As the roads narrowed, the mountains seemed to grow taller. I would definitely recommend taking this route and we will no doubt be arranging another trip to explore this area more in the near future. So we're here at the Viaduct in Scotland and it's where Harry Potter, uh, the Hogwarts Express was filmed and you can see over there, there's a lake and it's the Hogwarts lake over there. Harry, how do you feel about being in Scotland right now? I don't know what. Happy! You feel happy? Okay. Very happy. This is our parents. We've... <laughs> and yeah, that's the dog. Glenfin and Viaduct towering a hundred feet above the ground is a must-see for any Harry Potter fans. The heritage steam train that travels from Fort William to Malig in the summer months can regularly be seen here and attracts a lot of visitors. The viaduct is the longest concrete bridge in Scotland and has 21 arches. It's pretty impressive and is certainly worth a visit. We're just going back onto the road across this beautiful bridge. And yeah, that bit you can see is hills. And don't mind that tree, it's hills. Yeah. It's very pretty from here. Yeah, it's it's humongous. The next morning after our epic drive to the Highlands, we relaxed at the campsite enjoying the water and taking in the stunning view of Ben Nevis. Okay, so the 
Phoebe wants to do the van tour. We've hired a van. It's a Ducato, Fiat Ducato van. Phoebe, do you want to show everyone? So this is the door. <laughs> this is the door. And those lights. The lights aren't so working. The front two seats here swivel. Yeah. To make a dining area. Both kids sit here. And then you've got your kitchen area here. Look, we have lights. Sink, oven, hob, fridges under there. This is a big tall wardrobe cupboard which we have filled full of packing cubes. And then at the back you've got one double bed here. This does um, convert into two sofas for like a living room style bit, but we've left it as a bed because we're utilising all the storage underneath for camping chairs and things. This side is bathroom. Toilet, fold down sink, mirrors, it has got a shower, we haven't used it yet because we don't need to because we're on campsite so we're basically using this as emergency toilet only and storage as you can tell. The kids top bunk up here, again more storage but basically we don't really need to put anything on there um, and the back door's both open so it's a really good view at the back if you were uh, parking somewhere nice. So the plan of the day is we're just about to leave the campsite now and drive to Loch Ness. We have booked a boat tour on Loch Ness so that is the next time you'll see us. I'll try and film some of the driving it's pretty but I don't know whether it is or not. Um, and we'll see you when we get there. Loch Ness, the second deepest loch in Scotland. It contains more water than all lakes in England and Wales combined. When looking down into the water, the visibility is poor and the loch is dark and mysterious. This is due to the high peak content in the surrounding soil. We tried to catch a glimpse of the famous Loch Ness monster, but we had no luck. We did spot a castle though. So we've just finished on the boat ride over Loch Ness. What did you did you like it guys? Yes. What did you like? I liked how it like tells you stories about like Nessie and what you can find in the loch. Yep. What you have? Saw a fish. Me and Izzy saw an otter. Did you? An otter in the lock? Yeah, it was sticking its head up. Cool. So we've just stopped at Tesco's to stock up <laughs> on some food and get some petrol. And then we're off up to the next campsite, which is a rather special one because apparently we're supposed to be able to see dolphins from the campsite over the sea. So we'll see what we can find. How about this? for a campsite. This is our bed and that is my view. That is all four kids now running in their wetsuits to get in the ocean. Let's go! Smalls on the fire. Mm, mm, mm. So How is it? it? It's really good. As soon as I put the marshmallow in, it's like melting. I got a bit so of good. fingers on the grass. Digestives, chocolate, and marshmallow done on mm. the fire. You were gonna. So we travel from Loch Ness to Fort Rose Bay campsite, which, as you can see, is literally right on the water. <laughs> we have had 
sausages for tea. Oh. Hi. With we we have had s'mores. This is where we are. This is our van. These are our beds. This is where we're going to wake up to coffee in the morning in these beds. Ghosting. Overlooking this amazing view where apparently the dolphins can be seen. They were here last night at about nine o'clock, the lady um, who owns the campsite said. So we're on the lookout now for dolphins. Kids are burning sticks Stick. on the fire. We've had s'mores. Yeah. <laughs> All is well in the world. We are dolphin hunting. We have been told that dolphins can be seen off this point at around this time of night. They seem to be uh, strolling along some golf course. Hey ho, we'll carry on. I'll get a chair. <laughs> Two off. Four. <laughs> the half's a really good picture. Oh. It's just us two. I know, it's just you two. We've left the little people to go to bed because they were a bit overtired and it's getting a bit late. Crazy I've been in the sea. We found the dolphins. I'm probably not going to get much footage of these dolphins, but they do keep popping up on the horizon. Really close. The car is really, really close. Yeah, that's really cool. And we've got, we're sat here. We're sat here watching dolphins just there. There's a car for them. We're right here watching dolphins with a beautiful sunset over here. There watched the dolphins for well over an hour as they fed on fish and then slowly made their way back out to sea. truly was an amazing way to end our second night in the Highlands. Coming up next time we start the North Coast 500 and go on the hunt for fairies, nearly get blown away at John O'Groats and get our first taste of the Scottish midges. See you then! <laughs>